Hello everyone and welcome to our today's session. Our today's session is about Apache AGE and its journey during the donation, incubation and also graduation. My name is Aya Badal and I'm the Apache AGE VP, also one of the main uh, PMC members uh, of this project. I've been working with Bit9 since 2018 and also working on Apache AGE since 2019. Hello everyone. My name is John Gimignani. I am the lead developer and PMC of the Apache AGE project. I am also one of the original core developers and architects of Apache AGE. Um, I've been with Bit9 for about three and a half years now, and my key contributions to the Apache AG project have been the typecasting and VLE components. Hello everyone, I'm Josh Shinas. I'm a senior software developer at Bit9 Global. I have been working on the Apache AG project since 2019. My main contributions to the project so far have been the non-VLE portions of the match clause, the merge clause, the set clause, the create clause, and the delete clause. In our today's session, uh, we are covering uh, different topics. Uh, we will talk about what is Apache AG and the benefits of the Apache AG. Also, we will walk you through the Apache AG journey through the top level um, graduation, top level process. And also, we will um, talk more about uh, the building and working with the community um, during incubation and graduation. And also, we will share with you some of the lessons that we learned uh, from uh, becoming a top level project um, during um, this process uh, for the last couple of years. And uh, at the end, we will have uh, around 10 minutes Q&A. So please um, feel free to write down your question and ask us at the end. And we'll be more than happy uh, to answer any question that you may have. What is Apache AGE? Apache AGE is a graph extension to the Postgres database. Apache AGE integrates the OpenCypher specification graph modeling language, a graph-centric database representation, and graph processing into the Postgres database. As an extension, Apache AG leverages the user's investments, investments such as developers, uh, infrastructure, and data in Postgres without locking the user to a specific version or fork of Postgres itself. Additionally, Apache AGE allows the mixing of SQL and OpenCypher queries, enabling the user to quickly share data between the traditional relational style database of Postgres and the OpenCypher graph database of AGE. In this slide, we take a deeper look at the architecture of Postgres and how AGE is integrated into it. Basically, in Postgres, there are four stages. There's the query parsing stage, the query transform stage, the planner optimizer stage, and the executor stage. These then put the results into storage and they will interact with the transaction cache layer. Postgres allows us to access certain parts of these different stages via hooks. So we have our own query parsing routine that is activated after the Postgres routines are run. And this allows us to go through the actual uh, parsed tree and find our open Cypher node that we put in called Cypher. And then we perform parsing on that node. And then we pass the query parsing to our version of query transform, which also integrates some of Postgres's query transform. And then that gets passed on to the next stage, which goes to the planner optimizer, where we have some custom optimizations hooked into the planner optimizer. And then after the planner optimizer, the executor 
part gets executed in which it will now execute all the code that is presented and we have our own um, custom functions that get called for executing our particular routines. Again, all this data is stored in uh, the Postgres storage system and it utilizes their transaction cache layer. In this slide, um, what we'll talk about is more on Apache AG journey toward the top level project. Uh, this project started by Bid9 uh, in 2019 as uh, Agents Graph extension, uh, which basically is a sister product to uh, Agents Graph. And uh, back in 2019, we donated the project to Apache uh, Foundation. And we went through the renaming the project to AGE, which stands for a graph extension. Uh, after the donation, uh, we entered the incubation process in March 2020. And uh, we had to work on some processes and complete some tasks. And after successfully finishing everything, uh, Apache AGE graduated as a top level in May uh, 2022. What we have in this slide is basically the Apache AG journey. It's the high level um, overview of um, where the project started it and you know um, where is it today. Um, so uh, as, as we mentioned, some of the main committers of this project um, is uh, John, Josh, Dihao, and myself. Um, some of the main com contributors that helped us a lot during this process and uh, that are PMC members uh, right now are Nick, uh, Piri Potter, and uh, Alex. Uh, our champion, Jim, uh, helped us to enter the incubation. And then uh, Kevin, Vaughn, Felix, Trista, as our mentors, helped us a lot during this process to be able to successfully complete all the tasks that are required by uh, incubation. So as you can see in this timeline, uh, basically, um, we in pre-incubation, we had to propose a draft uh, explaining why Apache AG uh, should be a part of the ASF uh, foundation. And also, uh, we had to find a sponsor, we had to find mentors, and uh, we had to call a vote for all the decisions that we made and uh, for all the decisions that we wanted to make. And uh, during the incubation, after we entered the incubation, uh, we, we did releases. Uh, for each release, uh, we had to, again, go through the voting process. So we had to uh, follow specific uh, standard and requirement. And uh, after that, uh, we um, called for a community vote and IPMC vote. Um, to be able to graduate as a top level. And after that, um, and as I mentioned, in May 2022, we graduated as a top level. The code base of AGE uh, was donated by Bit9 back in 2019. And as we mentioned before, prior to AGE, uh, there was Agents Graph, uh, which was a fork of uh, Postgres. Agents Graph was open source, uh, but not part of Apache Software Foundation. Um, after that, we started it, uh, getting uh, more, uh, you know, inquiries uh, from the community of Agents Graph asking for an extension instead of a fork of Postgres. Uh, and the reason, the logic behind it uh, was that uh, the extension uh, would provide more benefit to its users. Uh, for example, uh, the ease of installation, uh, compatibility with existing system, and uh, migration, and uh, etc. Um, since Agents Graph has its own community since 2017, uh, we made some transition from that community to AGE. And um, one note is that um, all of the developer and main, um, I would say core developer of Agents Graph are now uh, AGE uh, developers and AGE PMCs. Uh, as we mentioned, John, Josh, and Dihav, uh, which are now also working on AGE. Uh, 
during the incubation process um, back in March 2020, um, we had to go through some legal standard and to make sure that we are aligned with the ASF requirements. Uh, for example, internal and external licenses and trademark dependency, uh, they all needed to be uh, aligned with the Apache um, standards. Uh, so, for example, AGE has uh, some Postgres code, so we had to make sure that uh, the Postgres license is also uh, compatible uh, with all the standards that uh, Apache is asking. Um, during the, during um, the time that the, we developed the new community, uh, we had to build an active, open, and diverse community. Uh, we had to make sure that uh, if the members are disagree, um, they can resolve this um, basically technical conflict without destroying any relationship um, during this process. Uh, we had to um, be really open about any decisions uh, that uh, we made or we, uh, we were going to make um, on the mailing list. So uh, we had to send our ideas, our thoughts, or any decision that we wanted to make on the mailing list. And uh, we had to hear from the community to see if everyone is agrees or if anyone had any points that you know is conflicting with uh, what we're looking for. Uh, we also had to adopt the voting style um, of Apache AGE. So, um, for example, uh, to do any releases, uh, we had to go through the voting process. So we had to open a mail, open a thread, and uh, provide all the release information on that thread and ask the community to check all the licensing, all um, basically uh, all the code and uh, the key signature, everything to make sure everything is good. Uh, and um, after checking that, uh, the community had to vote. Uh, if uh, we received um, a specific number of uh, plus one vote, then uh, we could um, you know, proceed with the uh, release process. If not, if anyone raises any issue or anything, we had to go back, fix that issue and um, open a voting thread uh, again. Um, so, um, as you know, as um, based on what I said, uh, you can see that uh, um, all the process, uh, specific incubation process, was highly dependent on the community and uh, not a single contributor, which uh, was uh, making it uh, um, really great because then, you know, it was raising this um, bar really high. Um, to make sure of the quality of, you know, um, following all the standards and um, all that during the incubation process. Some of the tasks that needed to be done before going through the graduation process for us were to build processes for the tasks that we needed to be completed. For example, we needed a specific process for building the documentation, the user manual, development documentation, tutorials, and uh, other uh, documentation. We also needed it to adopt a process when we're doing the releases to be able to manage those releases and uh, also a process for the test suit, uh, which could help the project and the community to replicate the issues. All these tasks, all these processes were important when we were in the incubation, and also they are still important now because Apache AGE is part of the uh, Apache Software Foundation, and it still needs to follow those standards and those qualities. And what you're seeing in this slide uh, is the Apache AG status page, um, which shows, uh, as you can see uh, in the green highlighted, it shows that uh, AG graduated as a top level uh, in May 2022. Uh, uh, it does show all the information in detail regarding uh, this project, all the committers, um, uh, all the releases with a specific date uh, that, you know, it happened. And uh, also the link um, to the different um, information regarding the Apache AGE. Uh, so uh, you're more than welcome. Feel free to check the status page. Um, and also uh, all this information are available on uh, Apache AGE website. 
Apache AGE went through the graduation process in uh, May 2022. Uh, so to be able to become a top of a project, as I mentioned, we had to successfully complete the, some tasks. Uh, so at that time, we went through the checklist uh, to make sure that we have all it takes to become a top level project. So we checked our checklist. We made sure that all the tasks are there, all the requirement, licensing, trademarks, everything is aligned with um, Apache um, requirements. And then after that, uh, we opened a community vote. Um, so we opened a thread asking the community to share their feedbacks with us, to share their thoughts, to uh, you know, to see um, if they can check and make sure that we are ready to graduate. So after a week uh, or two, community checked everything and uh, they shared their feedbacks and thoughts uh, on that thread, uh, supporting us um, and telling us that, hey, Apache AG is ready to graduate. Uh, so uh, we got enough votes and uh, we uh, closed that vote uh, successfully. And we went through the second round of voting, which was IPMC graduation. So in the IPMC graduation, we have broader uh, community, all the ASF members um, are there. So they also uh, checked and uh, they uh, shared their feedback with us saying that uh, they think that Apache AG is also uh, ready to graduate as a top level project. So after passing uh, those two votes successfully, uh, Apache AG community submitted the resolution uh, to the board. And after a couple of days, um, we uh, heard back uh, from the board um, saying that um, Apache AG uh, is graduated as a top level project and now is uh, one of the top level project of uh, Apache Software Foundation. And after getting the approval, uh, Apache Software Foundation formally announced in the different medias, uh, different channels through the ASF, that Apache AG now is a top level project of uh, Apache Software Foundation. The Apache Software Foundation as an organization has garnered a worldwide community. When we joined ASF, we began to attract the attention of this community that is full of leading tech professionals, enthusiastic hobbyists, and individuals that are genuinely excited about open source software and want to see the open source world continue to grow and prosper. When the AGE project began its journey through the incubation process, COVID-19 lockdowns were beginning to happen all around the world. With all face-to-face -face communication gone, we had to learn how to work in an electronic-only workplace, as we had to learn how to build a community. In retrospect, this was a benefit to the project. With all means of communication now online, including between the original team, it was easier for people to join the community and be part of the conversation. We began to work with people all around the world from different cultures with different professional needs and people who had different ideas and goals for AGE. We quickly learned that the best way to build the community was to be open, honest, and welcoming. We tried to welcome people and respond to their ideas and issues as quickly as we could. When we built the community, we learned that the best way to do so is to follow the phrase, if you build it, they will come. Focus on building the best project possible. The ASF community and the open source community as a whole are filled with dedicated, hardworking people who are passionate about quality projects and seeing that the open source world continues to thrive. When they find a project that they find interesting, they will investigate the project, they will find issues, come up with ideas, and propose them to the community. If you, as a PMC member, read their ideas and respond in a constructive, positive way, they will come back, propose more ideas, find more issues that will make the project better, and this cycle will continue to propagate. You do not need to look hard to find these either. Most of these things will happen in your GitHub repository or in the ASF mailing list. One of the best examples of this system working is the gentleman in front of you right now, Peter Yan, who goes on GitHub by P.D. Potter.
starting off on March 21st, 2021, asking a simple question about how to execute Cypher commands when his Postgres security system was not working. He has gone on to find many bugs in the project that have been fixed. He has gone on to propose many new features which have been implemented and come up with many ideas for how to improve the project and helped many others resolve their issues as well. He has also gone on to contribute our documentation system for our website, which we continue to use to this day. He has proven to be an invaluable person for the project, and he has helped guide us to where we are today. He is now a PMC member for this project. Another great example of this is Nick Sorrell. Nick joined the community in June 2021 and has also proven to be invaluable in the health and longevity of this project. He has helped redesign the Apache AGE website to what it is today. He has helped build the Docker images, which are used currently used by the AGE project, which has greatly expanded the number of users who can use the project and help build the audience to what it is. And he has also proven to be a GitHub expert, helping the team with their issues as they arise. Lessons learned and advice. Well, the key lesson that our team learned was Apache is a volunteer-driven organization. So we needed to be mindful that Apache time is donated time. This applies to mentors and others in the Apache community. Um, additionally, Apache response time can be very difficult at times uh, to manage, especially for projects that have a company as a sponsor, as does ours. And so whereas we are on a timeline of, you know, in the project of what to get done, um, the Apache community itself is volunteering their time. And so they will only really get to see it on possibly the weekend or late in the evenings when they actually log on. So that was difficult for us to get used to at first, and it's a valuable lesson that we learned as well. Um, Apache is also a very cosmopolitan community, so communication can be difficult at times. There are people that are in different parts of the world. They have different languages that they're accustomed to, um, and communication can be difficult, uh, though everyone tries very hard to work with you and make sure that everything is understood. So these are three lessons that we learned that we uh, felt were important to um, inform other individuals and other potential projects. Two additional lessons, rather important ones that we learned uh, were pointed out uh, by the Apache community itself, um, which was that our standards were a little bit unreasonably high and that was due to the fact that we're sponsored by a company. We have a schedule. As, as I stated before, we have goals and milestones and due dates for our components, our projects. And we have a particular standard that we apply to everyone that's involved. Um, we, when we started, we tended to apply this standard to everybody else and expected rather um, high expect well had rather high expectations and so it was pointed out that we needed to um, be more welcoming and open and reduce some of our requirements so that we could allow individual contributors that can focus on specific things like documentation or some code changes or some drivers for example um, so that was one. Another was learning to be more inclusive of others in the project. Um, and by that I mean learning to give up some of the control, uh, let go of the project, because it, initially Apache AGE was an in-house project and it was all ours. And so we had complete control over it. Then when we donated it, we now had shared control. And so it became important to slowly let go. And it's, it takes time. I mean, when it's your project and now it's everyone's project, it takes some time to actually just let go of it. And that was one of the things that we learned, and we're still learning, to be um, more inclusive of others into the project. 
join us and join our community. We would love to see you to join the community and help us to grow and develop the Apache AGE better and uh, to add more uh, features to it and to, for it to be more beneficial to their users. Uh, so you can contribute to the different uh, part of this project. If you're interested, you may contribute to the documentation, you can contribute uh, to the source code, you can help us uh, with the issues that are open on the GitHub, or you can also help us uh, with the future of AGE. For example, we do have a roadmap, so if you have any feedbacks, if you think uh, there is another item that needs to be there, um, you can always reach out to us and contribute uh, in this way. So uh, again, we would love to see you uh, to be part of the project. And uh, as I mentioned, there are lots of different ways uh, for the contribution to this project. It's not only source code. Um, there are, uh, as I mentioned, different um, paths and different process uh, to joining uh, this project. As I mentioned, there are different ways uh, to contribute to this project. Uh, if you're interested for the documentation, uh, uh, you may check out our documentation online on uh, Apache AGE project. And also, if you uh, would like to try AGE, please go on the website or you can also download it from the GitHub repository. Uh, try it. Um, tell us what you think. Give us your feedbacks. And uh, also, uh, there are specific documentation uh, documentations on our um, website that uh, will give you more instruction on how to start the process of contributing to this project. Uh, check that out. Um, it has all the details on how and where uh, you can contribute to this project. Again, we would love to see you. And uh, this is our current team, Apache AG team. So uh, we have a list of the PMCs and also the list of the contributors. So uh, if you're interested, you can reach out to us, any of us, and uh, you can, you know, let us know if you have any question or, you know, if you have any feedbacks to us. But again, the best way to uh, reach out to Apache AG team is uh, through uh, the uh, mailing list, uh, so which again, the um, list of mailing lists, you can find it on Apache AG website. Um, and uh, also if you go on the website, uh, there are sections um, regarding uh, different documentation and, and uh, different uh, basically ways of um, contacting us. Thank you for joining our presentation. We will now begin the Q&A portion of this presentation. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them now. 